I'm Troy Beverly, and this is Pan-African News. Mozambique Gunmen killed two Mozambican opposition leaders before election protests. Gunmen killed two opposition party representatives in the Mozambican capital, Maputo, on Friday, October 18, 2024, just before midnight. An eyewitness said an SUV was blocked in the street when two gunmen went to both sides of it and shot and killed the two front passengers and injured a third passenger in the back seat. The murdered men were Elvino Diaz, the main legal advisor to opposition presidential candidate Venancio Montalane, and Paulo Guambe, the spokesperson for opposition party Podemos, which is backing Montalame. As mentioned by Club Mozambique, the woman who was injured during the ambush is being treated in the hospital. Videos posted on social media show a dark gray BMW SUV in the middle of Avenida Joaquim Chisano with people gathered around it after the shooting. The video showed the bodies of two men, one with blood on his chest and the other slumped over. Police spokesman Leonel Muchina said the victims were in a local bar before being followed and killed and that the killings may have been related to an incident at the bar. However, most Mozambicans believe the killings were politically motivated. The killings come just days after the presidential election, which shows ruling party Free Limo candidate Daniel Chapo with a commanding lead and Montalane in second. But Podemos had rejected the provisional results and called for a nationwide strike on Monday against Free Limo which has been in power since independence in 1975. The official results will be released on October 25th. The government of the ruling party has used deadly force during peaceful demonstrations. Podemos is a relatively new opposition party that is challenging Frilemo and historical opposition party Renamo. Mondlane previously campaigned for the presidency with Renamo, but ran this year as an independent and was supported by Podemos. Before he was killed, Diaz was preparing a complaint to the Constitutional Council that must be filed this week. Diaz would have been a key player in challenging the controversial election had he lived. 